Good morning, everyone. Just today, I received a question: How did you make the warning go away? Also, if I rotate my device to landscape, the spacing between images become bigger. The number of items per row is no longer the same. How can I maintain the same number of items per row and same spacing even if I rotate the device to landscape mode? So, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem and handle the device orientation change. Let's get started. If you run the starter project, the result will be like this. We have three items per row and the light spacing is 5 pixels. But if we rotate UI collection view, the UI collection view will contain 5 items and the spacing is much more than 5 pixels. So how can we maintain 3 items per row and the light spacing is Let's get back to code. So in the code, I will make a little change. First, I will change the name of setup collection view item size to setup collection view layout. We will keep this and this. One more thing is we will make a different function. Name update collection view item size. And we will copy and paste this. We will change the setup collection view layout here. And we will call the update collection view item size here. And now to handle the device orientation change, we have to override this function. We will transition to size here. So if you wonder why do we need to override this function, we can read the Apple document about it. So this function will notify the container that the size of its view is about to change. And the UI kit called this method before changing the size of a presented view controller view. And you can override this method in your own object and use it to perform the estimate additional task related to the size change. So in this case, we want to handle the collection view frame size change. So we will handle it here. And we will call the function coordinator dot uh, animate alongside the transition. We don't need to care about the variable this variable then we will call self update collection view item size completion is new and we will call the supper we will transition to size with the coordinator okay now anytime the device orientation change we could call the update collection view item size like this. Let's check it out. Okay, in the vertical mode, and then we change the orientation. So we have it. We have three item per round, and the light spacing is five as we want. Okay, so you may wonder why it is happen. So we can we can make the debug point we can put one debug point here and one breakpoint right here and you will see the collection view frame width here so let's check it out when you make the device orientation change first it will go into the view will layout sub view like this and it will call the update collection view item size and if we print the collection view frame we can see the size is width is 375 and the height is 690 and then it will go to the view will transition to size here and it will call the update collection view item size one more time and here, if you check the collection view frame, the frame 
size is already changed. So the width is 724 and the height is 322, like this. So it will recalculate the item size and assign to the collection view flow layout. So we will have bigger item size and the light spacing will be keep to 5, just like this. Okay. So now it is working as we want and how about we try to change it to 4 like this. Okay, we have 4 items in one round in vertical and also 4 items per round in the horizontal mode. Okay, we solved the problem just easy like that. So remember whenever you want to handle the device orientation change, just handle inside the coordinator and animate function like this. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.